Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Mod Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the Grenier Burst Fire Rifle introduced back in update 9.6, the Hind. Now the Hind is instantly recognisable by many as the weapon that the Grenier Elite Lancers use, and in my opinion is one of the most underrated weapons in the game. Now the Hind comes with a very high base damage compared to other rifles in the game, with a base damage of 30, with half of that being slash damage, the other half being split equally between impact and puncture. This puts it in a very interesting spot, since most weapons are really only made to be effective against one faction or another. However the Hind breaks that mould, and because of its equal parts impact and punch damage, it means it's as effective against the Grenier as it is the Corpus, and then slightly more effective against the Infested than either of those, and as such it's actually fairly effective against almost all factions. Now as I said before, the Hind is a burst fire weapon, firing 5 round bursts. However, this is really one of its weaker areas. The Hind itself has pretty noticeable recoil, with the weapon climbing vertically quite a bit during the burst. Now this really hurts its long range performance, which is a shame because even with heavy caliber installed, it's actually a very accurate weapon. Another thing to get used to with the burst weapons, like the Hind, is the refire delay. Now after every five shot burst, there is a small delay before you can fire again. Now this can be sped up with fire rate mods such as speed trigger, However, these mods do not affect the speed that the weapon fires the five shot burst themselves. One of the weapon's great features, however, is the size of the magazines, and it's greater size of the magazines, allowing for 13 bursts to be fired per magazine. However, this can also be its downfall. The hind on longer missions, such as the void that you can see in the background, can run out of ammo fairly quickly and fairly easily. So if you're serious about using this weapon on these longer missions, then ammo boxes or even the ammo mutation mods really are required. Now, the Hind itself can be purchased as a blueprint from the market, however it is fairly expensive to make, especially for newer players as it requires 6 neurodes. however it comes with no mastery requirement at all. That said, I would not recommend this to newer players due to the fact that it really needs high level mods such as maxeration and a max heavy calibre to really make this weapon worth it in the long run. Ok, so let's start to mod the Hind. We'll start with a Serration, we'll go with Heavy Calibre and Split Chamber for the damage mods. And then against Grenier we'll go with Hellfire and Stormringer for that radiation damage against things like your Napalms and your Bombards, your heavier Grenier units. Now for the Corpus, we're going to go with Serration, we'll go with Split Chamber and Heavy Calibre again. But this time we're going to go with Stormbringer and Cryo Rounds for Magnetic because we're going to use that slash proc to deal with your fleshier units like your techs and your crewmen. Now for the void, we're going to move on, we're going to do serration, we're going to do heavy caliber, we do split chamber, and then this time we're going to go with a uh, infected clip and a stormbringer for that corrosive damage against things like your heavy gunners in the void. Okay, and now on to my conclusion as to whether I think this weapon is worth picking up and using. And the answer is definitely yes, I would recommend it. I've had an incredible amount of fun with this weapon, and not many people in the game use it because they feel it's incredibly weak. However, as I showed in that first clip, with only a potato on it, it can actually deal with tier 3 void missions fairly easily. And if you combine this weapon with all of the dual stat event mods, plus a few former, you're going to have a very respectable damage dealer that is accurate at short to mid range. Now the Hind, in my opinion, is ideally suited to the void. That mix of the three different damage types, the slash, the impact and the puncture means it is absolutely ideal to deal with the different types of enemies that the Void throws at you, better than a lot of weapons can. Obviously the Hind is never going to out damage a Bolter Prime or a Soma, but if you're looking for a fun, underrated weapon that not a lot of people use, then the Hind is a lot of fun to run with. Now, in terms of the burst weapons, this stands out and on par with the Burst on Prime. Now there's not a lot of difference between the two weapons, and something that is mostly down to personal preference. Now on to whether I feel this weapon deserves former, and honestly I would say that it does really deserve it. And once a couple of former are put on the weapon, I think you're going to have an absolutely outstanding all round weapon to use, that absolutely thrives in the void. Now just a little channel update news for you guys, I've decided to increase the number of videos I upload every week, now Mondays is going to be a primary weapon video, Wednesday is a secondary weapon, and Fridays is going to be a melee weapon. And streams are also going to be a bit more regular as well. I'm going to be streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays from 1pm GMT to 6pm GMT. As always guys, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Warframe content. It helps me out a lot. 
Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.